more about bugs on rugs. Let's see how you take care of those moth infestations on your fine oriental rugs. Hey, it's Dave with Regal Fabric here. We're here to show you a video of how do you take care of or fix a rug that has moth damage. Rugs of the, either in your home or rugs that have been in storage for long periods of time that haven't been properly treated can get moth damage. This rug in front of us is the small three by five foot rug and we're going to show you coming up. So we're back and what we've done to the rug before this point is a thorough vacuum and beating of the rug to take out some of the particulate soils and then we before it came into the shop we had to treat this rug to get rid of the moths that and the moth lava that are currently living in it. We'll show you in a link below there's another video we'll show you the damage that's actually on this rug and it's close-up damage but right now the what we've done is we've added the detergents like this here that we put on a rug like this it's already on the back. We put, we put plenty of detergent. It's made to clean wool. And we're going to wash out all the soils and contaminants of this rug. The brushes, of course, that are on the machine are made to clean wool. They're soft enough to clean wool fibers, but they're also aggressive enough to dig deep and get that pile thoroughly cleaned. So you want to go over the rug like this several times. Of course, there are many other machines like this, but we found this is one of the best ones for this type of work. And we're going to scrub both sides of the rug. And we're going to do that several times. If you look close, sometimes you can see the actual loose wool coming off the rug. This is why we wash rugs like this before we give estimates on repairs. Because the, the agitation from the cleaning actually pulls away some of the loose wool and exposes more damaged areas. And we're going to put, we're going to just put a tad more soap right here. And again, we want to make sure we get in there really good. So, when we come back, we'll show you part of what the rinse is like. Note, you really can't put too much suds on these rugs. As long as you rinse it thoroughly, the more suds the better. After the scrubbing, when the detergents have been thoroughly impacted and put into and helped dissolve the soils, it's time to rinse. So we use fresh, free-flowing water like this to help push the suspended soils, the suds and everything right off that rug. You can see from the darkness of the suds how much soil is in this. It's, pretty, it's actually pretty amazing how much soil was in this rug. This rug never should have been put in storage in this condition. Even if you're not going to properly wrap a rug before it goes in storage, you should at the very least have it thoroughly washed. If you look at the edges here, this foam on the right, and in the front of the rug, you can see wool pile. It's normal to get some wool when you wash a rug, but the, the knots on the back of this rug have been compromised and eaten by the lava of the moth, which is why a lot of this pile is now washing out. And you cannot see that before you wash a rug. So that's why we assess repairs, reweaving and other repairs, before, I'm sorry, after we wash it. And again, you have to do a thorough rinse like this. Then we'll be squeegeeing off all the water to get it as dry as possible. We'll use some extraction to pull the remaining water out and then a combination of dehumidification and air movement to thoroughly dry this rug. It'll be put in a room with dehumidification 
a lot of air movement overnight with some other rugs, and by morning it'll be bone dry and ready for inspection. And again, just pushing all of this crud out of the rug. And just like that. We're back with this rug that we just got through washing, rinsing, and drying. It's completely dry. And I wanted to show you some of the damage that these insects have done to this rug. These yellow plastic poker chips are situated near some of the major damage, but there's a lot more than that. We'll take a big area like this. If you see right in here, the white lines, all of that is the foundation, the back that you're seeing. Because all the face fiber, the wool itself that you see, is actually missing. There's a whole area all around here that's all that wool pile is missing. It doesn't eat the cotton foundation, but the cost to reweave all this is extremely expensive. Coming down a little further here, all in this area right here, you can see up here, down a little further here, you can see all of this material. That's the back knots and some of the found cotton foundation yarns across the whole edge of this rug. Right across that whole edge, there's a significant amount of damage. These two chips show where it mostly is right here. You can see that. This, um, Right here in this chip, it's all in here. All of here, the pile is missing right there. Let's see if I can get real close. You can see it right in there. It's all missing. It would be a small fortune to repair this rug properly. All in here, pile missing. So, the only good thing about this rug is that it hides the damage. That's because of the colors. That's the only good thing. The way to prevent this, before you put a rug into storage, have it cleaned thoroughly treated for moth protection and wrapped in Tyvek for long-term storage. And if you have questions or comments, leave them below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. And remember, keep the bugs out of your rugs.